So today I'm just looking at the new ePaper Hat Plus that WaveShare have released. Uh, this is an improvement over the old board. Um, I'll just show you the main features that they've added. Um, you can see that now they've got a RTC chip and the battery for the real-time clock as well. They've also added three mounting points and they've gotten rid of the old um, SPI port that was on the old board which would make the board stick out away from the Raspberry Pi. So it's pretty much the same screen just with those added features and it looks a bit better because it's got the gold and black now so um, that's it there. I've had a play around with it today. Um, unfortunately, when I was making my new build, I accidentally um, must have hit the ribbon cable. So you've got to be really careful with these um, e-paper e um, boards because they've got the, the ribbon cable. And if you damage it against the case or anything like that, you can essentially break it. Um, the good thing is you should be able to just, I, I've ordered just the um, replacement screen, so I should just be able to take it off and use the board still. Um, so that's the one I've made today, uh, just a bit of a quick mock-up. Just do a size comparison. So this one's actually got the uh, WaveShare UPS as well. So it's quite small. I might just show you how I've actually um, got to the setup inside here and just the configuration I've got. So I've got the screen. Um, these are the mounting screws that came with the screen on this side I've got the UPS hat hat C and this is the mounting hardware there and then the old bag it's got the battery So you got a 1000 milliamp battery. Um, the way I've done it to make it as slim line as possible, we'll start with the UPS. So with the UPS, you want to essentially to, there's double sided tape there that we want to peel off and to stick the battery down. And we just want to align it in a good position. Just making sure it's centered and just pushing straight down. Another thing I did was I actually removed this white um, housing just so it allows the um, allows the cable to sit a bit more flush and doesn't interfere with the, the pie when we put it on And just make sure you put it on the right way. So positive should go this side. And just squeeze it down. So yeah, when, when I tested it um, with this one, the housing would just push the the wires up a little bit and it wouldn't be flush with the battery. 
So this helps to make it sit a bit lower. So we've got that one set up. Um, the next thing that we want to do is essentially I've got a Raspberry Pi 2W here. Uh, the issue I found when I actually put this onto here is it doesn't actually sit completely flush with the, the mount. So if I did screw it in, it would actually bend the, the board. So what, what's happening is it's actually hitting um, with the RTC chip onto this metal plate there and it wouldn't actually sit flush. So you can probably just see, but it's, it's a bit of a gap. Um, to overcome that with the Raspberry Pi um, 2W, I don't know if it's an issue with other, the, just the Raspberry Pi 2, but with this one, what I've done is I've just printed off some 0.75 millimeter spaces to go in between. So what you do is don't use the, we'll use the mounting points from the UPS because they're a bit, they're actually, the screw is actually a bit longer. So you should get, get four of those out. Um, noting that on this there's only three mounting points. I won't worry too much about that for now, that one that's fallen off. It's more of a demonstration. So once I did that, you would actually clear, I don't know if you can see it, um, but it clears it fine now. And that, with that spacing that we need, I've got some header pins. Essentially, you can just remove them out one by one. And then essentially what I did is put one in each, each hole. And then I went through and I just snipped it. So I did that for all of them. And then I've gone through and I've just soldered it for each one. So I've soldered each pin in. Um, I've just done it to this one here. So that's how it looks once I've done it. So I just mount the other one up and just show you what it looks like. But yeah, I think this is the biggest improvement, having the actual mounting um, points to the board. So you can see that's mounted. 
and it's quite slim. So if you wanted to just run a, um, just a Raspberry Pi and the the screen, it is very slim. So that's a proper slim agogi. Um, you'd probably just use screws instead of using these mounting points. But for my purpose, I I use these. Um, for this fourth one, because there's no mounting to the board, what I've done is I didn't actually have a nut that was the right shot um, size, but I've had I've got these 3D printer inserts, um, and I've essentially just um, sanded one side down completely just so it fits into where I need to put it. So it will fit there. Um, you don't need to do this bit. Um, I just like to do it because I want it to be as sturdy as possible for the, the UPS. So that's what that looks like. And then with the UPS, it will sit on like that. To get the perfect spacing, what I've done is we'll now use the, the mounting, four of the mounting um, screws from the screen side, what you get with the screen. So when I've played around, this configuration is the best, um, slimmest um, configuration I've been able to come up with. If we use these ones, that, those long ones, the long ones, they're a bit longer, and plus it doesn't really have um, the male side coming out of this side. So you need a male side, and then you need like a female side on this side. So it doesn't really work with the screen setup. So if we use these, we can screw them in. Turn them up a little bit. So it doesn't need to be super tight. So I've got that there. Then all we have to do is just pretty much put the UPS on top. To do that, we can just get four of the screws. Just make sure the pogo pins are connected correctly on top of the power pins. And there you go. So that's why I've set it up um, on my setup. 
and this is the way I've been able to get the low profile. And you can see here, because I've taken out the um, the housing, it's got a bit of clearance there. So before when I've done it on the, the previous version, on this one, um, with the, the housing, it was pushing too much against it. So it's a pretty cool setup if you want to have a, um, to run the Wayfarer UPS Hat C plus the new Hat Plus from Wayfarer. And it's very, very solid. Um, you can run it like that or you can try to print um, a case for it. So that's what I've done here. Um, I've just got to do some more adjustments to it so it's got a bit more clearance and doesn't hit the uh, the ribbon cable. So when I put this one into one, hopefully it won't damage it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.